passive solar greenhouse. It's October 21st, 2020. We're about 30 minutes south of Eden, New York. We're in Eden, New York, about 30 minutes south of Buffalo. Got two fig trees, beans, carrots coming up. Real rainy day today. I want to make sure the rain system's working properly. So I'll show you. Got one rain tank right there. Get you another angle. Kind of hard to see. With that rain tank hooked up to these soaker hoses right here. So those are gravity fed. My dog Hank. Here's the level. You know how much rain we're getting here. It's all just gravity fed. Here's the second rain tank. I don't know if you can really see it in there. This is the overflow pipe. So what we have here, we have a sub pump right here. It's leading to clay terracotta tile out in the field. When we built the greenhouse, we realized we had this rain source so we're going to try to take advantage of it so it's draining into there into a sub pump I might get a good view here and it pumps into the top tank feeds to the lower tank and in that process it's going through this soaker hose so it's constantly going through the soaker hose. So it's constantly feeding water into the ground. This is our rainwater overflow, which hasn't really been doing anything until we got this big rain event. Um, so I have holes drilled in it. Let's see. It's leaching into this bed. We got some more stuff coming up here. We got some beets just coming up. Everything's been doing really well in here. Only had one frost outside so far. Some beans coming up. Radish is ready. Let's see if we can get a some bait. These are planted. end of September. It's been almost a month, not quite. We already got radishes pretty big. A couple sugar snap peas here. They got some beets. See these were planted 9-10, we got pretty nice looking beets that probably could have been thinned out, wasn't my job. <laughs> Beans are doing great, they're growing a little more than we would have liked, and not flowering as much, but they're just starting to flower, so I think uh, we're going to have a big, big crop here. 
carrots are also seem to love it here in this uh, south facing bed. And we got this the north wall here, which is all white. It's going to reflect the light in the winter time. And because of this wall angle here is 57 degrees, this never gets light in the hot of the summer. So come around the beginning of September, this wall starts getting light and it starts holding the heat instead of, um, you know, trying to cool it during the summer when we're trying to shade that wall. Um, got some tomatoes that I really kind of hacked them up yesterday to get them up to the top, but uh, I'm pretty confident they'll come back. So, you got the terracotta tile, which is the bed is made out of. Uh, different types of tomatoes here, they're all heirlooms. We got some cucumbers. Everything's seeming to look really good in here. Then we got well water and city water right here. So we got whatever we really need. We have everything set up on timers. You can see it's on the well water right now. Here's another quick update for you guys. I hope you like it and uh, make more if you guys want. Thanks.